Let's talk about something that happens to absolutely everyone. If you are either stuck on something or you're new at some skill, and even if you're an experienced professional or entrepreneur, you'll still be new at a lot of different skills you'll need over time. This video is brought to you by Abi Pies Academy. So this is going to happen to you frequently, and you've got to have a good balance of being independent and knowing when and how to get help. Independence is something that all entrepreneurs and all professionals, true professionals need because you have to problem solve on your own. That's an expectation from professionals or entrepreneurs because you can get help in absolutely everything. You can't afford to get help in absolutely everything or if you're doing it for free, nobody's going to have the patience to do it for you. And if you need help in absolutely everything, well, why are you necessary in that role? You got to bring something to the table. You've got to be of value. And there's going to be a ton of challenges. For the most part, you have to solve them on your own. But there will be many times where you shouldn't do that. When we're getting help is actually going to be a really wise and smart decision. Typically, younger people, they kind of have this mindset or, of, I'm going to do everything on my own. I got this. But more experienced entrepreneurs understand when and how to get help and why it's actually a great idea. There shouldn't be an ego involved. Getting help is more to save you frustration, to save you time, to actually have a better expert help you than you are, and to gain perspectives. So getting help can be tremendously valuable. Now, once you get good at a task and you're able to do it over and over, you need less help. Of course, you need to always become better at that task and you can still keep getting help. But at the same time, at some point, you'll need less help and be able to do it on your own. And then you'll need help on other tasks. Of course, hopefully, because if you aren't learning, that's kind of a sign that, hey, you're not maybe doing something great because you're not doing something new. And so you're being a little stagnant, maybe. That's a sign of like, if you don't need help, maybe you're just not progressing. That's a kind of a yellow flag there. But if you are new at doing something, like most entrepreneurs are, a lot of professionals are at all kinds of things, being alone is really hard because you have no confidence in that particular skill. You don't really know how to do it. So you want to get help. And luckily today, there's so many options to get nearly free, really good help. Uh, the first place to look is to get coaches or freelancers on Fiverr and Upwork. They can either do the task for you or better yet, they can help you learn that task so that you can become independent with it. There's also a lot of free resources like Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups on all kinds of professional topics where you can have a community and you can ask simple questions. And there's all sorts of websites beyond that. Like for example, stackoverflow.com is a great example of if you need help with technical questions, they'll be able to help you there. And also, if you're embarking on some new project or some long-term thing that requires a lot of skills and expertise, you can actually start and create your own little mastermind group. It's maybe an, an unofficial mastermind group, but you could handpick and invite current experts into this regular networking group, and this will help you start business relationships with them and Really what that's going to do is enable you to get help from them and ask them for advice on a more frequent basis than if you didn't really know them. And if you don't get any kind of help, you're just going to have an immensely frustrating time. I remember doing that myself when I was working on my business very early on. I remember sitting by myself in my room. It felt like there's no answers. Like it, it was really terrible feeling. I still remember how it felt. And you actually don't want that because now looking back at it, it's like one of the worst memories of my entrepreneurship career is really literally that experience of being stuck and having no one to help. So get in the habit of either solving the problem on your own. If you cannot solve it relatively quickly or if you feel quite stuck, then you need to start seeking out all kinds of help, forums, groups, freelancers, coaches. There's so many options. There's no shortage of options. It's just a matter of you taking those steps to get the help.